All right, so Mustang's finally driving well. Took it out to PA for a bit, grabbed some parts for the uh, Abarth, but uh, we're not talking about that yet. No. no, 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 just you guys wait. But what I'm gonna be doing for you guys is I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade the alternator on a Fox Buddy. We're gonna be going from this alternator, which is like a 30 amp stock one, really bad if you have a sound system. Even for like, if you don't have a sound system, the headlights will start flickering at night because it's so bad. The radiators. Uh, yeah, we have the like radiator fans, that takes a lot of energy. Pretty uh, much charging, it sits at 13.2, 13 and a half volts, which is not optimal when the car is running. You want it at 14 and a half, 14.7. So it's definitely not pushing enough power, not pushing P, you know? So, upgrade's necessary. Yep. And what, I'm gonna, what we're gonna be doing to upgrade it is we're gonna be showing you guys how to make your own wiring for it. We're gonna be using a Ford 3G alternator, so it's gonna be making 130 amps. Should be like 100 more than the factory, so it'll be perfect for the sound system we have, and yeah. Hopefully it goes smoothly, but knowing this Mustang, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so I ordered a bunch of the stuff that we need. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of everything. Over here should be the alternator. Don't worry about my ghetto razor contraption. <laughs> I was about to mention that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, alternator. It's a remanufactured one off eBay. It's like 60 bucks or something. And this is what we're gonna make work. Yep. There's the alternator. Should be mint. It's not too bad. So, next thing we need is in here. This is gonna be the plug for right here. Yeah, go in there. Next thing we need is right here. That's gonna be this plug. Which goes in that way. And then lastly, we're gonna to need to upgrade the existing wiring from whatever like small wire it is, because it's a 1G alternator in there. And we're going to 3G, so we need to use 4 gauge wiring. So, another thing you have to make sure you have, let me unbox it, but because this is 130 uh, amps, uh, we need a 150 amp fuse just to hold all the power in case something happens and the fuse will break and you're not going to burn down your whole car. So, yeah, we got all the uh, connectors, o ring things, insulators, we got the fuse, we got the cables. I have no clue what's in here, so. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a Barth parts. Oh, what well, a thermostat. Oh, thermostat yeah, yeah we, we don't talk about this yet. <laughs> place it over here or forget about it. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we'll get around to taking the battery out first because we need the space here. Nice little handle. Yep. Put that to the side. Mm -hmm. Alright, now it's up. Assem see. Assemble all the extensions. Oh, we get the big boy one. Yeah. Nice. There we go. That's the maximum leverage you can get right there. Okay. You can slow that go. Alright. This is how you torque your nuts. start pulling these off now all right so yeah, it just comes out like that very simple and now you have this nest of wires back here yep so before we tackle this we're gonna quickly do the wiring for the uh, new alternator get all that suited up so then we know exactly where to go so we're gonna be showing you that just because uh, when I was like researching this all of them is for the 86 to like 93 Fox bodies and none are on the 84 so it's gonna help the 4i 4i guys yeah and yeah all right so this is how we're gonna be wiring it up so this yellow wire is gonna get wired up to this white wire but we're also gonna have another wire that goes to this I'll show you guys it's the one coming from the uh, carburetor choke so because this is the stator whatever how do you call it stator stator yeah this is the stator wire 
and this is going to be giving the choke like good power so yeah there's that this is going to go to the ignition switch so so whenever the car is in ignition right like running it excites the alternator so it can generate that 14.5 volts exactly this green wire is going to go here to this guy right here and then we're also going to run the uh four gauge wire to this with a fuse and then that's going to go to like the battery or some shit like that we'll show you when we get there but yeah for now we're going to wire that up we're going to make sure that this fits into there because i know on some of these you have to like mill out or like kind of like angle grind part of the bracket that holds the alternator to fit like these plugs so we'll just quickly wire this up and we'll see if we have to do that or not so yeah look at this weird look <laughs> You do it the other way than I do. Yeah? I, tw I twist clockwise, yeah. <laughs> we twist the other one clockwise. You gonna solder? <laughs> uh, later, once we get the other wire. Meow. <laughs> so just, just to show you guys why I'm doing it this way and not actually uh, doing it together, is pretend this is the wire from the choke. I can go here and then I can wrap it and twist these together like that and put solder and then heat shrink over it so it'll yep. look better. Yeah, a little pigtail action. We gotta figure out how much of this wire we need. Did you get that alternator out? Oh, you did. Right, let's test fit it. Let's see. Are we gonna have issue? Let me just tuck this somewhere, get it all overheated behind one of the hoses. There we go. Burn the wires a bit. Fucking built for tough, that's all I gotta say. It's <laughs> perfect fitment. I mean, we gotta still play with no, it. No, no, you just put bolt in and then. Oh, oh my god, that shit. Nah, it should be good. To think that they're making the same alternator size after like this many. It is years. getting stuck somewhere. It is, yeah. It's get, yeah, it's hitting. Oh, here. we have to notch that. Okay, yeah, we gotta notch it. Okay, let me go get a sharpie. That's soft metal though, should come off easily. Yeah, but now we gotta take it out. Yeah. Do the mine. But, yeah. Okay. It's always something with doing this. What the fuck is this hose doing down here? I was mad. Leave it. We gotta take it out though, this whole thing. Where oh, you we... wanna take it out? I mean... How the fuck are you gonna take all that? It's just three bolts. Hell no. It is three you bolts. You go in there with angle grinder. Yeah, right next to the fuel and cover right there? Not, that wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> it's just three bolts. It's fine. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah. I'll show you how real man does it. Where's the, where's the wrench at though? One, two, where's the third boy? Yeah, there's oh, that comes with there. a tensioner, huh? Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's one all the way down there. Okay. See, so then we can hit it with an angle grinder or something. Like clean it up. <laughs> Make that bitch look polished. We can hit it with a quartz silver as well. A quartz silver? Yeah. Yeah. So bolt number one. I'm right about here. to bust my knuckle. Battery side. I'm about to bust in general. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the breaker bar. Yep. <laughs> that bitch on there. Yeah, have fun getting to the rest of them. Don't worry. <laughs> Just remember to torque it back this much, right? Yeehaw. Now I let go, right? Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for my fingers first, yeah, and then, yeah, then yeah. let go. Oh, yeah, you can't go that. Oh, yeah. Alex grunting noises intensifies. Yeah. More ASMR, right? Yep. All right. He should be ready to get out. Made a hose. Get the hose out of the way. Hose mad. It'll be fun putting this shit back in. I know. Oh, that gives me nice access to the ground wire. So, <laughs> I'll get to that. Alright, so I'm going to pull this off now and uh, measure up the new wire. I'm about to take this home, run some new speaker. Set up. All right. Nice little fuse in here. 
wonder what the current rating is. Talking to the viewers? Yep. See if I've cut enough. So I'm going to measure this up to the old one. Uh, it looks to be the same size, but it's probably not. Well, why are you changing that one? Do we not need to change this one? Well, that's just the ground from the battery to the engine. Yeah. So why are we changing it? I mean, right. We need a, well, we, instead what we need well, is... So what the fuck a, do we need this for then? I'll show you. We need to run a new ground? We have to run a new ground from this, you see? So just run a new ground to that. Do you want to see the old ground? This. Yeah, but don't forget, that's why we're upgrading every wire. Yeah. Because we're going big boy. Alright. So now I'm wondering if I could just run a wire to this exact grounding location where the battery is also grounded from the alternator. Then we wouldn't need a long wire at all. What? Because where the battery one mounts, we could definitely squeeze another one in there. Okay, go for it. A ground. So whatever you think is good. I mean, ground is ground. All right. So we can have this on here as well as the alternator one. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Whoa, it's turning green over here. The solder set on fire. Great. I don't like this. And then you crimp it afterwards. Is it good? I don't like this, but... This is about to fucking shrink. I'll let it. Then we crimp it. You crimp, crimp. Yeah, with what? Here, I'll do it. With that thing. With this? Yeah, that's how I crimped it before. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You have to have big, strong balls. Big, yeah. strong balls? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, see. Are you supposed to crimp with balls? Yes. Oh, that's a new one. Not sick. You're supposed to just drop it on there and the fucking weight of it should just fucking make it fold in. Okay. It's fair. Yeah. Literally breaking the solder joints in there, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't touch it with your hand. No, it's copper. What, it's not hot anymore? It's warm. Okay, let's put this on, yeah? Hold on. All right, I'll yeah, show what I'm doing. Good. All right, so here's a bracket. Got it notched out right here so that it fits. So I can get a better angle. In here, cut out this part right here, and it's perfect. Bolt goes through here. Over here, we're gonna have to put a bolt on this side and then a nut on this side and clamp it. But right now, it's really good. So I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel. I'm gonna paint it. And yeah, honestly, this is much easier than we thought it would be. So if you're like deciding uh, whether you can do it or not, I mean, you can definitely do that at home, right? Yeah. Hardness out of ten? What would you say? A hardness out of ten? Yeah. Like a three. A three? A three. That, like the hardest part is literally just having like the toolings like right like just having like an angle grinder being able to notch that and knowing a little bit of electrical stuff but like honestly it's 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 like legos like plug and play legos except it's not Literally. plug and play but Literally. yeah our heat gun when you have torch there we go all right, so as mentioned previously, uh, the stator wires, they get hooked together, and then we're gonna splice this in for the electric choke. Uh, we want this done because we don't want a full 12 volts. Uh, some guys say that the electric choke doesn't really last too long with a higher voltage. It wants about nine volts, eight volts. So this will drop it down a bit. And uh, I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll even wanna test it when we have it in the car. I'll just see what it's outputting. Um, but now, so these two are pigtailed together. Now we just twisted them together. I'm gonna solder, put a heat shrink on it, and that will be done. So as for the wiring, that's pretty much it. Um, still have this wire, that's gonna be for ignition. We'll find an ignition wire somewhere in the engine bay. And yeah, that's about it. All right, so she soldered up. Now I'm just gonna run some heat shrink over it, and that will be finished. He's painting over there. I'm gonna let that dry. It's a nice day, so it'll dry fast. It's also um, this paint. This paint dries instantly, so. Is this not I'm the just getting quartz silver? Oh, it's not a quartz silver. God damn it. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, so once that's done, we plop it back in the car. And the only thing that's left that's rusty in here is these two. This is painted. This is painted. So, I don't know. We'll get around to these as well.
All right, so this wire, the exi uh, fuck, this wire, the ignition switch one, goes the uh, eye, comes out this side of the switch. We're gonna be wiring that to this right here. So this was a plug. This plug was the one that went to the uh, alternator. It looked like this, we took it apart. We're using the orange wire because when the ignition is off, there is no power to this. And then when the ignition is on, there's 12 volts. So we're using this one. This one, we just took it apart. We capped it off. We're probably going to like hide it in the wiring loom, make sure it's all safe. And then we're going to be using this one. So this wire is going to this wire. And this wire, which we pig jointed right here, is going right here to this stud right here. This one right here. All right. All right, Amantis, what are you doing right now? Fuse. The fuse? Yep. So this is a little fuse box we have. We put it in there, and then we tighten the Allen key. I just want to see if I it. need to give it more beans. It should be fine. Nah, well, we'll see. It's going to be a pain in the ass getting it through that fucking hole, though. Which hole? That one. Oh, that thing right there in the fuse? Yeah. <laughs> should probably tin the wire as well, because now I'm just screwing into fucking that, like, very malleable copper but we'll see how it holds probably shouldn't be like this though there you go she's meant okay all right all right well that's one side done and then yeah so gotta find a place to mount this as well I mean, though, we just that let one with the other fuse yeah exactly you know what we do we mount them together yeah. back to back like this you know yeah <laughs> Okay, but wait, wait, wait. So, tell the viewers, where does this end go? This end is going on the other side of the alternator, right? Correct. Okay, and then the other end, this, this side, end, where, are we, where are you putting that? Uh, don't we run it to this one, or do we go straight to battery? Should does, probably run it to the distributor block first. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Because this is either way going to the battery, so... Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, well, we don't really have many threads left on this anyway. We'll let you know what we go to, but it's probably gonna be the battery. It doesn't really matter. All it is is charging the battery. So, and then the battery does all the rest. So, I mean, it's just one circuit. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how we're gonna mount the fuse. We're gonna put it right here on the side. This is gonna go right over here to the battery terminal, and then the bottom side of the wire is gonna go down here, right up here, and up right over here into this uh, red plug. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you cannot. It's yeah. on the other side, but yeah, so that goes to the positive terminal of the alternator. Meanwhile, this is the ground one. It's going from that little post on the back. It's going to drop straight down and go to where we are grounding the engine on the bottom. Yep. So, yeah. Should so, be the cleanest way to do it. We'll get to running the wires now, and uh, we'll check back in with you in a bit. Also, I love what the number one thing is about like working with electricity and fucking cars especially is don't wear jewelry. And I'm wearing a watch. Yeah, why is that? It's gonna shock you? No, I just short shit out. Because then you're making metal to metal contact instead of like your hand, which has a resistance. Yeah. All right, show us this, that power. Oh, yeah, I gotta get it on these it's two. Fucking things. farmer boy strength. <laughs> Farmers only. Farmers only. Is that where I need to go? I'm looking for gals. You're looking for them cowgirls? <laughs> yeah, bro. Need some cowgirls to ride me, cowgirl, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have these two, then the wire nut on it, and it's fucking mint. Hold on a second, I'll go get the wire so that we can measure out the next one. Alright, so what I wanted to check is if the eyelet right here, if it clears this, which it does not. So now we're just chopping the little ends off of it. Okay. <laughs> Starts up. Sounding good. Yep. Right, what are we looking at? 14.4, 14, 14 and a half. Perfect. Exactly what we want to see. Now let's check wire just in case. Not hot? Not hot. That's fine. Oh, good. So, she is mint. So, 
So that squeaking, that's not from anything that we did. It's because, well, actually it is something that we did, but it's not from the alternator or anything that we messed up. It's just because the paint, as you can see, the paint went onto the belt. So now it's just going to squeak for a bit until it all just burns off. Yeah. Then probably got to replace the uh, bearing, but whatever. Yep. So what we did, I don't know if we showed you, but that wire that we took, mounted from back here, brought it down there to where the, uh, this wire is actually going to where the back ground down. is. Yeah. Uh, took this wire around here, got the fuse down there. We're gonna mount that soon. We're gonna mount it when we take the wheel off so that we can get it like nicely firm to the chassis. Wire is going down around here to the uh, alternator. We have this wire. It's going into the wire we showed you earlier. And then the carburetor wire for the choke is going over there and there. So honestly, it was, it was, it was actually kind of fun doing this. It was fun. It was fun. It was like wiring and just like playing around. So calm, relaxing, nice day. Nothing to get pissed about. Yeah. You can't remove bolts or something. Mm hmm Yeah. So, yeah, that's how you... Definitely worth the upgrade. Now what we can do is take... Oh, we can put the amp on. Thing. We can put this... We can this... actually hook up the amp again. There we go. So, that's also not mounted. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learned something new. Hopefully, someone actually, like, used this video and found it informative so that they can do this. Because I know when I was researching it, you'd have to look at forms that are, like, 20 years old to do this. So now we're now there's, like, a like new video yep. on YouTube to do this for, uh, for, like, carbureted Fox body. Like, 84 or older or whatever. So, yeah. What is electric choke? <laughs> yeah. And honestly, everything we did here would work on even older Mustangs, like, from the 60s. Yeah. Because it's, it like, it's just simple. It, it's very simple. Yeah. It's just caveman mechanics. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. It's shiny though. Painted this. So. <laughs> I guess now, so. Now this side of the engine looks good and then this side needs a little bit of love. But a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right, so the sub right now and amp is hooked up. Uh, we're blasting the music. We have the headlights on. We have the radiators on. We have every single thing we can think of that would draw power. And that is it. Not even a... Like point, point one volt drop. Point one volt drop on that. So it is really good. This alternator. You don't need to get a stronger one than that. Honestly.